welcome back to another video. This is Melissa from MelissaAtHome.com and I'm so excited to share some more work from home opportunities that you can do. And these opportunities are specifically for those who may not have experience. So I'm just gonna talk about a few opportunities that you can take advantage of and I'm gonna share some companies that hire you and you do not necessarily have to have experience, okay? Some of them may actually offer you some training and many of them are very easy and simple things that you can do and they don't require you to have a phone. Like you don't necessarily have to have like a landline phone um, to do these jobs, okay? So let's get started. Uh, the first opportunity is working um, online as a chat agent. So there are various chat jobs that you could take advantage of and you can help you know, individuals who are searching for products or services online and you will be the one to assist them in shopping or answering questions or providing tech support things of that nature so if you ever visited uh, certain websites and you may see it like a box on the bottom that says live chat if you need some assistance then you could chat with an agent live online or a box will just pop up and ask you some questions if you need assistance well that basically what you will be doing as a chat agent the company that's hired for this type of work is chat shop and uh, they require that you work 20 to 40 hours Per week I believe and they pay is nine to ten dollars an hour um, they do provide some training so they will definitely train you with this position another similar site that you may want to check out is site staff and site staff don't necessarily require you to have any experience but they do mention that their ideal candidate would have some customer service experience okay so if you have a little bit of customer service experience then definitely make that make mention of that when you apply to uh, site staff so they don't necessarily need you to have any experience but again you know they are ideal candidate would have some type of a customer service experience okay so definitely check out site staff uh, site staff pays ten dollars per hour as well okay the next type of opportunity that you may want to consider is doing some tutoring online this is great if you're a college student or you know anyone for that matter there are some companies that do require that you have teacher teaching certification and so forth but there are also other uh, companies out there that don't require you to have this or even have experience in teaching or tutoring online. Such a company is called Cambly, and Cambly, I believe, is a worldwide tutoring um, service. And you can basically log on to Cambly and start doing some tutoring jobs, okay? They hire people who speak English as well as uh, Spanish, and you must be fluent in your language. And this type of work is usually done via uh, video, so you must have like a webcam to do this if you're comfortable being on video and tutoring students okay so majority of tutoring um, jobs do require do require you to be uh, video chatting with the students and another company that's similar to can be is nice talk now nice talk is basically done via app so you may need to have an Android or Apple device in order to do nice talk okay uh, it's an app that you would have to download to your Android or Apple device and you will do the work that way the pay is ten dollars an hour and they pay weekly and the good thing about Cambly is that it's very flexible you can log on at any time to do work they pay 17 cents per minute so that could add up to like ten dollars and twenty cents an hour if you're able to tutor a student for a whole hour you'll get paid ten dollars for that hour okay so again it's 17 cents per minute okay so check out Cambly as well as nice talk and again nice talk is an app that you have to download and you have to have an Android or Apple device to do nice talk okay the third type of opportunity that you may want to look into is test scoring or essay scoring uh, there's a company called measure Inc. and they're well known for hiring and training um, test scores for you to, to test scores of college students and um, you know schools school student tests and so forth uh, they don't necessarily need you to have experience but they do require that you have four-year college degree at the time of this video I believe that they're currently hiring but they may put you on a waiting list so to speak and their opportunities tend to be seasonal or temporary work okay so definitely keep them in your tab safe somewhere you can express that you are interested in becoming a test scorer 
with Measurement Inc. They pay $11 an hour um, and they are, they are US based only. Another similar site that you may want to look into is Write Score. And with Write Score, you will be uh, scoring essays, okay? And this is also seasonal work and um, they have a waiting list. Like when you go to apply to this position, you will see it will say put on a waiting list, okay? So definitely check it out. You can fill out the information and be put on their waiting list and they will get in touch with you when they have jobs available. Um, again, this is seasonal work. So they may have jobs available when like school starts, like in a fall season. So definitely check out Right Score and Measurement Inc. Okay. Um, other types of opportunities that you can look into is website testing jobs, where you can browse and test websites for various companies that have online business, and you can test their you know website and give your review and your thoughts on how on your experience as you are browsing their website. So there's definitely uh, companies that will hire you for that and I'll post those companies in the link below this video. Um, another type of work you could do is data entry. You can, you know, get started with some companies in data entry work as an entry level or, you know, if you don't have any experience at all. And of course, this is no phone work, okay? So you can get started in data entry work. Uh, six is search engine evaluation. Uh, search engine evaluation job, you're just, you know, testing uh, search engines like Google and seeing what type of searches come up once you put in a search term. Okay, and the companies that hire for this do train you and I'll list the companies um, in the link posted below this video. So check out the link posted below this video. Okay, uh, another type of work that you can look into is doing proofreading work as well. Um, and there are companies that hire for that. Another type of opportunity is uh, transcribing work. There are companies that will hire you in entry level as well as no experience to do some simple transcribing um, work from home, okay? And I'll list some companies for that as well. Post below this video. And number nine opportunity is doing some translation work. If you are international, this is great for international to uh, translate different documents and you know audio devices and so forth. So there's definitely a high demand for translators. You can do translation work at home. Again, you know, just basically translating uh, documents or audio and so forth. Okay. And last but not least is doing some virtual assistant um, work from home opportunity. I went into depth into becoming a virtual assistant in a video. And um, I think I'll be posting this video prior to this video or after this video, but definitely check out that video. It will give you some more information about becoming a virtual assistant, but most some virtual assistant job don't require you to be on the phone um, to work for a company, okay? So definitely check out these opportunities. Those are 10 things that you can do working from home that do not require you to have much experience or, or the need for a landline home phone to use to do this work, to do these jobs, okay? So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys and thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Happy work from home. Bye-bye.